For the first time, researchers at the University of South Florida have identified the viruses associated with red tide. Our Julie Salomon visited the lab where they're studying the organism that causes red tide, and she learned tonight researchers now hope to better predict blooms in the very near future. Because Carina brevis is a dinoflagellate and it's larger than bacteria, you can actually see them swimming under the dissection scope. Jean Lim studies Karenia brevis, the single-celled organism that causes red tide. She works in a lab at USF St. Petersburg College of Marine Science. You can see them swimming in the water column. So they are alive and healthy in the lab and they're happy. Lim and her team partnered with researchers from FWC Fish and Wildlife Research Institute. Researchers collected samples from red tide blooms off the coast of southwest Florida. For the first time, USF researchers identified viruses present in red tide blooms, which could help them predict future blooms. Knowing what are the viruses that are associated with red tide could help us further understand the roles of viruses in um, the beginning of the bloom or the end of the bloom at different stages of the bloom cycle. Red tide kills marine life, causes respiratory issues for people near the beach, and impacts businesses associated with tourism and fishing. In 2021, Florida saw a significant red tide bloom. And if we are able to isolate viruses that could inhibit or kill Carina brevis, then we could potentially look at using viruses to mitigate red tide blooms. Currently, experts rely on satellite imagery, water samples, and ocean circulation models to monitor and track blooms. Lim says the hope for the future is to use their research to find environmentally friendly ways to manage blooms. The hope for the future is that we are able to better predict and control red tide blooms and also be able to handle um, the economic impacts and the health impacts of these blooms. Julie Salomon, ABC Action News.